Okay. Well, Iris, how long did you ride today? Uh, today for about 90 miles. I started in um, Springfield, Missouri, and came all the way to Joplin, Missouri, where I'm right now at now. Any problems with uh, with traffic or anything like that? Um, actually, a little bit. Like the the trucks, they tend to you know not really keep their distance from you. So when they like are very close to you, you get like a lot of headwind from them. So you really have to grab onto your handlebars very tightly, so you don't you know flow off your bike. So, so you were riding to uh, raise raise money for uh, for breast cancer awareness. That's correct. Yes, yes. I lost a close friend to breast cancer in two thousand nine, and that's how this you know project came about and that's why I'm doing it right now do you do you live in Germany or do you live here in the US I live in Germany currently I, but I would love to come here and, and work here that's that's a dream of mine what inspired you to ride how, uh, route 66 um well Kelly my friend she lived near route 66 she lived in Illinois and my street address in Germany is 66 so that was kind of a coincidence and I just thought that route 66 is such an iconic street it's so famous and it just you know represents so much more than than just you know concrete and road striping it stands for people's visions for people's dreams so that's why i picked it you've been doing quite a bit more besides or you're planning to do quite a bit more than right i understand right yeah I, i'll be having some events along the road um there will be uh, the next one will be in tulsa and then there's going to be one in artmore one in albuquerque one in tucson one in amarillo and um, so, you know, get some more work out because it's not enough riding all day. Have how things gone for you on the ride so far? Fantastic. I'm ab absolutely thrilled. Like, I'm having so much fun. I mean, it is tough every once in a while, of course, you know, especially if you have a lot of headwind and the sun is very intense. I got a little sunburned already, but that that's all right. I just put a lot of sunscreen on it. Um, but people have been tremendously supportive and so friendly. I'm I'm overwhelmed. This is fantastic. How long did it take you to plan all this out? Um, I started planning this about a year ago. Pretty much, yeah. So and then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger, and finally I'm here. And when did you get started? Um, I started. I left Chicago on September 13th, which is 10 days ago, and I will be in L L.A. on October 26th. And uh, everything's been going on right on schedule, I take it. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks to my roadie Phil, who who uh, is with me and helps me, you know, to get through and carries like all the luggage and everything. So that that's that's great. What kind of supplies do you need besides just, well, the bicycle, obviously. What else do you have? Uh, well, most importantly, like, you know, Gatorade or like just something to drink, water and stuff. And then, of course, you want to eat all the time because you don't want to, you know, have like, you know, n not not enough energy anymore. So, like, yeah, just energy bars. And then at, at night, a lot of pasta, obviously. And that's, and sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of sunscreen. Have you planned some days off for yourself in, in the middle of all this? Yeah, actually, um, the like my typical schedule is like four days of bike riding and then I have one break day. So that's like a nice, you know, thing to do because you definitely need a break. It's, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Iris, for folks who want to contribute, uh, I'll work, how can they do that and how can they keep track of what you're doing? Well, they can just go to my webpage. It's www.bikefortheCure.com and it's bike for the number for the cure and there is a donation button on there and if they want to make a donation um, they just should make sure that whatever amount they d uh, make the donation for it's like 0 0.66 cents so we can track it back to the pro project. Hmm, okay. Uh, what are your goals for fundraising? Um... I would love to hit like, you know, the $10,000 mark. That would be awesome. Um, but every dollar helps and it's it's also about the awareness and just, you know, people taking care of themselves. And, you know, if, if just like one woman goes and gets a mammogram early enough, then it was all worth it.